Well, hello, welcome to another class. Our last class was about the letter A. A is a vowel. Today we have the letter B. So we're gonna find out if B is a consonant or a vowel. We're gonna find out in just a moment, but first let me welcome you to class. If you're one of my regular students, you know how I am, Teacher Dale, and the way I can be during class, you're used to me already. For new people, please give me a chance. Just enjoy the class, and I want you to know you're welcome. In English class, it's okay to make a mistake, I want you to watch the entire class, enjoy, and let you know that you're welcome. And we're going to work together to help you improve your English or learn your English. Or even if you're another teacher, just stop them by. Hello, you're always welcome. So we're ready to get started with class. And let me share the screen so we can get started. Lesson about the letter B. Now, the letter B is either a consonant or a vowel. So is it a consonant or a vowel? What do you think? You can write it in the comments, that's okay. The letter B is a consonant. A, you remember, was a vowel. Okay. We have vocabulary words. Now, there are hundreds of words with the letter B. We couldn't possibly, in a 10-minute class, cover all of them. So what we're going to do is we're going to cover some of them, and we're going to write sentences. And as much as possible, hopefully we have pictures, or we'll think of something. And anyway, let's get started. Bake. Beth will bake a cake. Bicycle. A bicycle is also called a bike. Birthday. Bob's birthday is on Monday. Bird. The birds are flying. That's what they do. Now, you notice the word bird, and you see in the sentence it says birds. Bird means you have one bird. Words is more than one, two, five, ten, anything more than one, we're going to put an S at the end of the word. Now, as far as the verbs in the sentences, a bicycle is also called a bike, because we're talking about one. The birds are flying. We use the verb are because there's more than one. More vocabulary words, box. Put the books in a box. Bowl, he ate a bowl of cereal. Breakfast, Bill eats bread for breakfast. Now you see the picture of the bowl here? Now I'm gonna go back to the last slide for just a minute. What word that starts with B do you see in that picture that's very, uh, it, you can see it very easily. They are called balloons. Yes, you see balloons. I just wanted to go back and show you that, and now we can keep going. So now here we had a bowl of cereal, and off, over here you see some other in the blur but maybe there's some bread over there that Bill will eat. Okay, I just wanted you to, to see the picture and to be thinking of the words as you see a picture. That's going to become important in a minute. Okay, bark. The word bark has two meanings. Now, in English, we have a lot of words that have more than one meaning. They can be spelled the same that can be spelled mostly they're spelled I'm sorry they are spelled differently see even teachers make mistakes in class and it's okay to make a mistake the word bark has two meanings the dog can bark <laughs> okay 
it's all right. Please, please don't turn off your cameras. Please don't leave the class. It, teacher's okay. <laughs> it's just using it as an example. Okay, teachers tell the students to sit down in their desks. It's okay. <laughs> Everything is fine. <laughs> anyway, the tree has a lot of bark. This, the trunk of the tree and the branches can have bark, mostly on the trunk. It's the skin of the tree. Okay, we're going to keep going now. Okay, now we have a class activity. Find words with the letter B. So think of words like ball, basketball, and write them in sentences. And then you can practice your English using these sentences. You can read the sentences. You can speak them out loud. You can talk with a partner. One can read, the other can listen. You can take turns. You can turn this into an activity. Teachers, pair your students up or put them in groups of four to have this activity in class. Great. Now, you may write your sentences in the comments below. Okay. All right. Now, I have something also. We're going to look at the next two slides. I want you to look at the two photographs, see the photos, see what you think, and you may also write those in the comments. Now, what is this a picture of? Okay, who said it's a picture of a boat? If you said a boat, you're correct. It is a boat, okay? And if you look very carefully, you might recognize, well, no, it's not, it's a different picture, but it's close to the picture I used in the lesson A, where the houses were on the side of the hill. But this is in that same area. And you see the boat. So tell me what you notice about the boat. Boat is the letter B. And all the things that are of interest to you, what do you like about the photo? Please tell me in the comments below. Now, this next photo, I want to know how bad it is. You tell me how bad it is that the dinosaur is biting teacher on the head when I was in China. Okay. All right. We're not going to look at this one too long. Uh, Scary memories of having the dinosaur bite me. Okay. Now I have an extra credit assignment. Everyone, I loved extra credit when I was in school. Who can find the mistake that English teacher Dale made in the last class about the letter A? I made a very obvious very easy to find mistake. So go back, watch the lesson about letter A and find the mistake and then write it in the comments for extra credit. Okay, wonderful. Now it's time for our review. So what did you learn today about the letter B? What did you like most about the class? Would you Please put it in the comments. Teacher would appreciate that. Now, our classes ended for today. I've enjoyed having you here. Our, we're going to have another lesson about the letter C. I'm also doing other lessons. So be watching for the class. Our next lesson about letters will be the letter C. I appreciate all of you, my students, means so much to me. I mean, you really, you, all of you do. Teachers, I'm so glad to see you here today. And just, uh, it's wonderful uh, to be able to teach you. And I appreciate each and every one of you. It's time to say goodbye. I will see you next class. Okay, goodbye. <laughs>